Hey guys, Kuru Blind Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Star Wars The Clone Wars. Last time on, we had a uh, premiere, a new season, mm -hmm. and one of our clone troopers, something's wrong. Yep. Tough. He's 66 too soon. Tup. Tup. Yes. T U P P. Tup. -P -P. Tup. <laughs> Tup. Uh, yeah, he has 66 too soon, um, and everybody's like, what the hell is going on? So the Separatists to. tried to get him, and then they saved him, and I think they said they're going to be sending him back to Camino. Mm-hmm. Camino. Let's see what happens next. It's always Ryan. You got, didn't they ever have, like, a good day on Camino? Every day's a good day. No different than England. He's right. Except for that, for some reason, Camino seems like it would be a warm rain. Mm. You know? You must come with me. With, uh, with all due respect, General. I can't just abandon him now. You must let the doctors do their work. Do not be afraid. Your friend is in quite capable hands. If a virus was the cause of Tup's breakdown, you have more than likely been exposed to the contagion. You haven't entered the advanced stages yet, as Tup has, but any information we can gather from you could help to find a cure for Tup. All right, General. I'm sorry, Fives. I wish I could stay, but duty calls. It's fine, sir. Fighting a virus is a nice change of pace from all those clankers. Take care of yourself. And Tom. Ooh, screws in like a corkscrew. Love it. The needle. I'm not calm. <laughs> I like he's spinning. <laughs> His reaction will subside. The patient must be awake for the next round of tests. I am not fond of these hyper tests. Yes, but they do give us all the information we need in a timely fashion. This clone seems to be in perfect health. We must be missing something. Why am I here? Is he conscious? Put the orders. Kill the Jedi. Kill the Jedi. Are you finished with your tests? For now. Him waking up and then seeing Nala say, like a classic alien. The Jedi. Like, yeah. Perhaps the Separatists Thing. found a way to brainwash him. Look, is Tuck gonna be all right? Have they found anything out? Please, sit down. Yeah, you're just a droid. You don't know about real duty, about what it's like to have a brother. I am sorry. I always wanted to have human feelings. Oh. But I do not. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Got over that quick. I feel like they would've started with a cat scan. It's totally something to do with the brain. Uh, they're hyper tests are better than CAT scans, apparently. Might I suggest a second brain scan? An atomic level brain scan? This is unnecessary. You're right. The phase and there I did it. Second. Did are sufficient. He is too weak for a phase 5 atomic level scan. I calculate the beneficial knowledge we could gain from a phase 5 atomic scan is worth the risk. We must be cautious. I do not believe this is a physical ailment, but a mental condition caused by possible Separatist brainwashing. I do not agree. This is a virus of some kind. I am in charge of this examination, and I will decide what is best for my patient. CT5385's condition seems to be deteriorating. Tup. His name is Tup. Tup? What is a Tup? Tup is my friend. He's not a number. Yes, he is. We all have numbers. My number is AZ3452118962464987213473. You are a number. CT5555. No, I am five. <laughs> Call me five. It's my five. name. It's a number. Five is a number. <laughs> no, not five. Fives. Oh. The difference is minimal. Not too many. <laughs> How widespread is the problem? It seems to be an isolated incident. However, this is a 
delicate situation. We need to terminate the clone as soon as possible in order to extract and analyze the inhibitor chip that you provided to us. The chip is a safeguard against betrayal from rogue Jedi. Master Sifo Dias was the only Jedi who knew of this. But with his passing, we alone know of this secret. And you must keep it that way. Yes, Lord Tyrannus. Bring Clone Trooper Top back to the Jedi Temple. Yeah. Examine him with force, we shall. And unravel this mystery, we will. Yes, Master. I'll bring him back immediately. <sighs> he needs oh. holistic medicine. I recommended an atomic brain scan, but that request has thus far been denied. Then we have to get the results of that brain scan ourselves. But that is against protocol. Think about it. I cannot perform the atomic brain scan without disobeying orders. Check your programming. I thought saving the patient at all costs was fundamentally your highest order. You are correct. Right. Then let's get to it. <laughs> I like that. I love the, <laughs> love the gray color. Yeah, I was just going to say I love the clone armor. As I stated, I was following my programming. Then you are like this clone. Defective. You will be put on report for deactivation. Ugh. There is no tumor. Your scan is incorrect. But this clone clearly has a virus that remains undetected. But I will find the cause once he's terminated. Now leave. T5385 will be terminated so that others like him could survive. There are others like him. Top doesn't have to die. You found a tumor. I'm sure that's the cause of all this. It's the only thing that makes sense. We'll go to the general, to Shakti. She helped me once as a cadet. Hmm. I know she values the life of a clone. But we will be disobeying direct orders. Yep, for the second time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hack into the medical center's mainframe? I do possess that ability, yes. All right. Well, here's what you need to do. Yeah, she <laughs> held fives all the way back in the Domino Squad stuff. So. Yep. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. All non-essential personnel report to a safe room for lockdown. Scanners have picked up an intruder in section C6, but we have no visual confirmation. It could be the enemy looking for a patient. I'm on my way. Please report to a secure room. So glad medical droids have this. I love, I love his backpack and chest thing. Yeah. I don't know what to make You might want to turn away for this part. I think that it's... You can use his hand on either side, you know? Oh, anesthetic! Give it to her. The, the mission. The 
one in our dreams that never ends. The one in our dreams. Our brother. How oh, the nightmare. I'm free. No. No. I thought I saved him. I recommend we do further tests on this tumor at the Jedi Temple to see if it is the cause of the problem. Or even better, have the tumor sent to the Grand Republic Medical Facility here on Coruscant. That's me, it's better. The Jedi Council requested the clone. I think the Chancellor is correct. We are in agreement, then? Yes, sir. You just like, I am so good. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, it seems like a bad plan when, like, a unaffiliated government owns all the information and in your army. Mm hmm. Yeah. Seems like a bad deal. I mean, our country employs a lot of paramilitary sex, you know. Sects. <laughs> <laughs> like, that govern themselves sometimes. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, that's what, that, I mean, that was the whole point. Like, the Separatists break apart, they join forces and have these giant droid armies, and the Republic... They can only do stuff so quickly. So in the beginning of episode two, they're having Senator Amidala come back to vote for creating a Grand Army of the Republic. And then they get pushed into the Geonosis battle. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, well, we have to use the clones, you know? So it's like, well, it just happens to be here. Apparently this Jedi named sifo Dyas, which if you remember episode two, is the uh, Jedi that Obi-Wan says, well, hasn't he been dead for like 10 years? Um... And then Jango Fett says a man named Tyrannus recruited me. So, from like the, the scene that we we saw here, it seems like the Kaminoans, like they don't really understand Jedi, Sith, that kind of thing. They just think that the Jedi put this order in, and then secretly, Tyrannus slash Sifo-Dyas put in this safeguard for rogue Jedi. Yeah. So the rest of the Jedi can't know because it's a secret protocol in case there's a spy yeah. or something. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, and if they know about it, then it won't work the same. Mm -hmm. And the comedians don't care either way. No, I mean, it's just They're a product just for them. Filling an order. And they call them a cult in this? They, they, call, they call the Jedi like, like, a, like a cult. Like, yeah, yeah, they call them something like they're weird. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, if you get paid by whoever, it's like, you know, well, they do what they do. And it's probably like whenever, you know, we have WaveCon somewhere and we request something, like, ah, we're weirdos, <laughs> you know? Oh. Um, Clone Wars, they can give you so many different types of episodes. I oh, know. We basically got a medical drama here, but yeah. we, we already knew the mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahead of time, you know? Yeah. That you were following along with Fives and mm -hmm. just trying to figure it all out. He didn't. His friend died. His friend He's going to kill dead. the Jedi. Yeah. House would have failed here. What? House. He would have failed. The patient died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they, they used the word inhibitor chip activated. Mm -hmm. um, now, yeah, I wasn't really clear. Did he actually have a tumor? No. Or was it the, just the chip that they... The chip yeah. was what they were reading as the tumor. Mm -hmm. It was the... the or did he have a chip breath. and the tumor interfered with the chip? Yeah, I mean... Uh, I don't really understand. Obviously, the arc isn't over, so we can go more into detail there. Though they did say that no clone has... Like, the way they're engineered, they don't get cancer. They never get tumors. Yeah. So... I mean, he could have been exposed to something that yeah. the other clones weren't to, maybe, that led to the tumor. Yeah, yeah. they also mentioned here, which I don't think they said last episode, is that he was missing for five rotations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what did he do during that time? Or That's why they also thought the brainwashing yeah. was a thing, is that maybe he got captured by the Separatists, brainwashed somehow, and then sent yeah. back, you know? But Nala say, did say that the inhibitor chip activated prematurely, is what she told the Prime Minister. Right. Um, and then a, a very interesting thing to point out I feel like is at the end when Tup talks about this dream we all have nightmare this nightmare and all the other clones looked around I mean, you can't like see them you can't see their faces but they, they all kind of look like oh fuck I have that dream 
Yeah. But it's almost as if they can't, they, like, they don't talk about it. They can't talk about it. Maybe they physically can't, you know? Maybe it's something well, about that ship or something. Probably the too. inhibitor. You know? Well, I it feel like be. if I was a soldier, I like, in the American Army, I wouldn't want to go around telling, man, I keep having these dreams about killing the president. Yeah. You know, it just, it yeah. just seems like something you wouldn't say, maybe. But it, it's it's weird, like, they this this thing it seems to be so ingrained in them, they dream about it, but then they also can't talk about it with each other. I just, I don't know, there's something about that moment I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. so, so the chip is just, it's stopping the programming from happening. And like, the chip will turn off and it goes in, or is it more of a, they don't want to do it, but the chip is going to make them do it. I mean, given that it's an inhibitor chip, like Calvin said too, is like, if they are having these dreams, what all is it inhibiting? Is it well, inhibiting yeah. them being able to talk about that? Does it inhibit mm -hmm. their thoughts later? Yeah. It, like, does it, like, it triggers and turns on, so it inhibits their natural thoughts of helping the Jedi to the, their base programming, maybe, of yeah. killing the Jedi, you know? Like, it just depends on what the inhibitor chip is actually going to be inhibiting. I think they're all inhibiting. mouse traps, ready to spring, and mm -hmm. the inhibitor chip is the catch. Yeah. I mean, the droid did also say that it seems like the tumor is blocking impulses. So, does it make them... So like if I have the impulse, night. like if someone gives me an order and I have an impulse, I don't want to do that. Does it block that impulse, you know? Yeah. And then you just do it? Or, but it seems also like, you know, there's something in there because something shook loose and Tup is like, kill the Jedi, you know? It's not like someone t said, kill the Jedi, and then he was like, oh, I don't want to do that, you know? And that was blocked. I feel like the droid would know the difference between a tumor and a chip. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Unless the tumor's around the chip. Uh -huh. Unless the droid is programmed not to recognize the chip. Maybe he's in his chip. Maybe. Yeah. His, his programming. I mean, seen things. they biopsied something. They got it there. Yeah. But... And they're going to be sending it to the Republic to yeah. analyze more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Five's so talking. safely. <laughs> it's interesting. Five's like talking with the droid and being like, you know, I'm not like you. Like, our names are important. Mm -hmm. We can do what we want. Yeah. But actually, you can't. He's programmed yeah. just like the droid is. And, and he has this, like, belief that, like, you can't just dispose of us this way. This is not why we were created. It's, it's like, exactly it, it's like yeah, he's, it's like a, it's almost as if, like, a loss of faith or, like, a crisis of faith, I should say. Where, like, but they can actually speak with their creator, you know? Yeah. And be told, no, that's why you were created. The only difference is he can feel and the droid can't. Yeah, the droid wished he had human feelings. But he has logic and he can manipulate that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, man. And then the other thing, I, while watching it, you know, when, when Tup wakes up and it kind of, it's kind of that classic, like, uh, story you hear about people that say they've been abducted by aliens. It's like the white light and then the comedians look like the classic scary alien, you know, that uh, so many people, I mean, that's what they were based on when George Lucas made him represent too. He's like, I want the, you know, close encounters alien even their city kind of looks like big flying saucer shaped things you know so just like that look of looking down at that like unfeeling reptile like thing was scary there was something about fives talking to the medical droid and i felt like man the show looks way better yeah. than it did before yeah yeah and there was something about that scene i was like this feels like it's out of a modern day video game yeah. scene or something it just I mean, felt Different. Well, the, the coloration around the lips, the edge of the lips and stuff was really done well. Um, it was actually like, you know, when you're laying in bed all day, you get crusty lips. I mean, we are going into the and, you know, season six now where, mm -hmm. you know, every season it kind of takes a little, they push a little bit more yeah. and add a little more yeah. to it, you know. It's yeah. like when we had the water, the underwater battle stuff, you know, in that one season four, mm -hmm. I think it was. Yeah, opening. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just that... Eventually, they get to a problem that they have to develop a new piece of, uh, you know, a, a new effect to fix. But then it's just really easy to just do that, you know? Like, when I was making, you know, when we were making lightsaber fights, I'm like, all right, well, I don't know how to make a lightsaber. So I had to teach myself to make that lightsaber. Then the next time I was making a, a movie, well, I know how to make that effect. And I could use that not just for lightsabers, but lightning effects and all this other kind of thing, you know? So you're just kind of like adding that to the thing that you can do that was really hard before, but now it's cheap and easy, you know? So the longer they go and they these assets and resources are created to solve certain problems, it's really easy to just, well, we don't have to pay to, to make that anymore. We just have it. 
So it takes less time to render them. It takes less time. You have like atmospheric effects that they might have made for like an outdoors uh, Kashyyyk area that will make your interior uh, halls look better because that dust can interact with the light, you know? So it just gets better and better and better. Anyway, and uh, they yeah. have hair follicles now. <laughs> they do. <laughs> yeah. When and uh, Nala Say is also the same exact comedian that we met all the way back in the uh, when the hospital was being attacked, I believe. So we've actually met Nala Say before. Okay. I, I think that like Grievous or somebody was attacking. They were either attacking Kamino itself. It was the or uh, it was like an outpost or like something like that. It was the medical yeah. stations. And Nala Say was the same doctor uh, there. And then here she's introduced as the primary creator of the clones. Was that the one where it was there was like a clone medical? It's it's the malevolence one, right? Is it that one? It's not malevolence. Yeah. It was it was the uh, big super weapon. Was Nala was saying that one? Was that the malevolence one? Because they were like, I gotta get the clones out of here and stuff. Yeah, and, maybe yeah, it was. I think that it's one. malevolence. Yeah, so that's it's, it's like the very beginning. That's like the, the first three episodes one. after ambush. Yeah. So yeah, um, that was our first big arc. Yeah. In Clone Wars. Yeah, it was. Very much so. Um, oh man, I had something else I was thinking of. There was a lot today. Well, I keep trying to think of it and then move on to something else. I can't remember what it was now. Damn. Damn. Oh. Was it about Poggle the Lesser? Why would it be about Poggle the Lesser? Why? Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Clone Wars with us. If you want to go to patreon.com slash blindly, you can find uh, ways to watch more episodes of Clone Wars. So go check that out, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye bye One thirty-two.